Good afternoon. This is Lieutenant Townsend with Fayette County Fire and Emergency Services. Today we are going to be talking about the Life Pack 35. This will be a multi video series uh, just talking about the different parts of it and its different functions. Uh, in this first video, we're going to start by talking about the outside. Uh, you'll notice there's some similarities and some differences than the Life Pack 15 that we're used to. Uh, the first thing is the screen, it is all touch screen. And a big thing with that is do not use bleach as it will degrade the screen and break it down and wear it out over time. Uh, just looking at the uh, different buttons here, you have your power button, your charge button, your shock, analyze, you have your speed dial, your speaker, and then you'll notice two, uh, two plugs right here with USB ports. This is not to charge your cell phone. This is for additional features, possibly down the road. But as for now, nothing should be plugged into those. Uh, moving over here to the left, this is where your pulse ox and blood pressure cuffs are kept. You'll notice the blood pressure cuff is not plugged in. And as long as you do not have it plugged up to a patient, then it should not be plugged in. This is not acceptable. It will cause the rubber hose to bend and break down over time. So anytime the monitor is not hooked up to the patient, it should not be plugged in. You'll notice the top is a zipper, the bottom is a magnet. So that's a new feature that they have added. You have a pouch on the left, right here has the bariatric cuff. And moving over to the right side, you have your magnetic pouch on the side. You have a green and red zipper uh, pouch. This is all the same pouch, it's divided by a little separator in the middle. But in the green, <clears throat> you have your three lead cables. You can see where they plug into the monitor themselves. And you also have two batteries right here. Uh, each of the batteries has a little black button right there, how you can release them, pull the batteries out, just like that. And they just push in. Um, over on the red side, so this is your defibrillation uh, cable and pads. You can think red is dead. Unzip your red pouch. And this is where your defibrillation cable as well as your pads are stored. All right, moving around to the back. Um, this is where the printers will go when they come in, as well as the modems. Because right now it's just storage but you have a zippered pouch right here. You have a little pouch here. It looks like maybe a bottle of aspirin could fit there. Um, another important note on the back here, uh, this pouch does open up like this, and it can be used as a kickstand. Uh, another important feature back here, you can see this is where your AC power cord goes. Uh, your end title uh, will connect to the front, but this is the exhalation port. So should you ever get a uh, an, an error on your end title, you should check back here and make sure that the exhalation port is not covered. Uh, your defibrillation cable plugs into the top, very similar to the LifePak 15. Plugs in just like that. And that is the outside of the Life Pack 35.